So the other day I was responding to some of my comments on one of my older videos which was about me sharing the Minecraft mashup pack downloads to the public when I came across a comment from a user called Remel Coffee saying hi I downloaded the file how do you import it into the game I'm on Bedrock version. As I was responding I actually realised though that I've somehow never made a tutorial on how to install and play downloading Minecraft World so today I thought I'd take a moment to hopefully educate and help some of you who are perhaps struggling with this issue. Now I do want to make a small disclaimer here that this tutorial is going to be for PC users only but there will be another tutorial made for mobile users so stay tuned for that but let's get started. Now I feel like a confident place for us to start before we dive too deep into this would be to quickly discuss the two different types of downloadable files you can expect to come across when downloading Minecraft Worlds that are intended to be played on the Bedrock Edition. The first is .mc world files. These are the files that are able to be downloaded and very easily installed as they don't require you to do anything other than opening the file once it has been fully downloaded. The majority of Minecraft players prefer this file type as it's simpler to install and less time consuming. As a small note as well, this is actually to any of my viewers the file type that I use primarily when I share my world downloads for any of my videos so look out for that. The second file type you might occasionally come across is .zip files. These are worlds that are compressed into zip folders that once downloaded need to be unzipped and then placed in the correct file trajectory or else they just won't show up when you load the game. If you've never installed one of these file types before they can be an incredibly frustrating thing to do so so I'd imagine that the majority of people that are watching this tutorial probably have already downloaded that file type and maybe looking for assistance on that. So now that we talked about the different file types let's first cover the easiest method of installing a Minecraft world download which is by downloading a .mc world file. With these file types no matter if you download them on PC or on mobile all you simply need to do is once it's downloaded if on PC double click the file or if you're on mobile simply press it and it should immediately load up Minecraft and you should see text pop up at the top of the screen saying world import started. Depending on the world size you might be stuck on the installing screen for a minute or two so please be patient with that but once you've installed it correctly you should see world import finish successfully pop up and now when you press play the map should be available. So now let's move on to the part that we're all dreading which is how to install a .zip world file. First presuming you've already downloaded the actual .zip what you're going to want to do is right click the file and then select extract all then choose a location for the files to be extracted to. As you'll see I chose my desktop as is easier. Next we'll open the extracted file and you should see the world folder. If you double click that then you should be able to see files like db, level.dat and world underscore icon but we're not going to touch those. What we are going to do is we're going to back out and move that world folder onto our desktop also. Then if you don't want to get confused with obviously the two different world folders you can go ahead and delete the original obviously extracted folder. Now we'll press our windows button and the R key together which should open up the run dialog box at the bottom left of your screen and then here we're going to type percentage local app data percentage and then hit enter. Now from here you're going to need to follow an exact file path so be sure to listen to this okay. First we're going to open packages then we're going to look for microsoft.minecraft uwp underscore a w e k y b 3 d b b w e. I know it's a really weird name but that's the name of the file. Then we're going to open that and then go look for local state open that then go to games open that then go to com.mojang open that and finally go to minecraft worlds so now that you found your minecraft worlds folder if you want to make this easier to get to in the future i'd highly advise going back to com.mojang and then right clicking the minecraft worlds folder and selecting the pin and quick access option as that'll make finding this folder super easy for future use now lastly jumping back into the minecraft worlds folder of course and staying in there all you're going to need to do is drag your world folder from your desktop into the minecraft worlds folder and you're done. Next time you load Minecraft Barrel Condition, the world should be there. So before I end the tutorial, I thought I'd take a quick minute to answer some of the most commonly asked questions I've seen that relate to installing and playing downloading Minecraft Worlds. The first is, how do you tell a java.zip file and a barrel.zip file apart? Well, the answer to that is you really can, at least not from the outside. Unfortunately, you can't tell them apart until you've downloaded them, but once you have, the easiest way to tell if it's a .zip file is for Bedrock or not is to see if it has a file called DB in it. If it does, that means it's for Bedrock, and if it doesn't, well, that means it's for Java. Another question I've seen a lot is can you convert a .zip file into a .mc world file? And the answer to that question is yes, you can. It's actually remarkably easy to convert a .zip file into a .mc world file, and if you're interested in doing that, I actually made a two minute long tutorial that I'd highly recommend checking out. I'll have it pop up at the top right hand side of the screen if you have a look right now and I'll also link it down below in the description along with anything else I've mentioned. The last question though is can you change java.zip files into barrock.zip files? To that question the answer is yes however it's unfortunately not as easy as changing a .zip file into a .mc world file. If you are serious about wanting to change your java world over to bedrock or vice versa you can do that 100% but you're going to need to use an external program such as the universal minecraft converter or the free alternative that I personally use which is a program called amulet editor. The links to both of these converters will be linked down below in the description if you are interested. And with that all being said that is the end of today's video. Thank you all so much for watching it. If you did go to enjoy this video and found it interesting or helpful please share it with your friends and family. Drop 
drop a like and leave a comment letting me know what you'd like me to cover in a future tutorial. Also be sure to subscribe as you don't want to miss out on any of the helpful Minecraft tutorials I post and it also does go quite a long way so thank you for that but other than that thanks for watching once again and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.